what's going on guys in this video we're gonna talk about Molin Automotive once again that's Molin Automotive with a ticker symbol M-U-L-N guys in this video we're gonna talk about the uh, current press release of Molin Automotive that says energy ATVM loan application for Molin 1 EV cargo van program so that's on April 29 Molin filed its ATVM loan application for the Molin 1 EV cargo van program Funds will be used to accelerate high-volume EV cargo van production at Mullins Manufacturing AMEC facility outside Tunica, Mississippi. So we're going to check on this, guys, what is the significance of this uh, specific filing as far as the Mullins progress is concerned. Guys, if you like the information and analysis I'll be providing in this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get going. So guys, Molin Automotive by the time of this recording closed at the price of $1.29. It's down 2.27% during the trading hours but it's currently trading sideways in the after hours. So guys, today we have some uh, good news brewing regarding uh, Molin Automotive. Uh, we will uh, try to take a look at that information in a second here. Okay, so uh, we will try to uh, once again check recent information regarding Molin Automotive. Okay guys, so uh, let's try to read on this article. It says here, uh, Brea, California, May 2, 2022, via Investor Wire, Mullen Automotive, an emerging electric vehicle manufacturer, an emerging EV manufacturer, announces the filing of its ATVM loan application for the Mullen 1 EV cargo van program with the U.S. Department of Energy. The application was filed on April 29, 2022. Mullen submitted its pre-qualification on April 25, 2022 and was invited by the Department of Energy to formally submit its loan application on April 29, 2022. Mullen submitted the loan application on April 29, 2022 at approximately 1.55 p.m. Pacific time. So, it says here, we are proud to announce the submission of our ATVM loan application for the Mullen 1 EV cargo van program, said David Mishery. CEO and Chairman of Mullen Automotive. We began our ATVM loan journey in 2019 and the DOA has been following our progress since then. I want to thank the uh, entire Mullen Automotive team for working diligently on this submission. I also want to thank the DOE for their continued support of our initiative to put Americans back to work. There you go guys. This is a huge milestone for us with many more to follow. Okay, so guys, uh, basically, uh, so they uh, submitted the application today and he is thanking the DOE or accepting their application. So guys, uh, we want to know what is an advanced uh, technology vehicle manufacturing loan program. So that's what we want to find out today. So overview, the Department of Energy's loan programs office, LPO, has $17.7 in loan authority to support the manufacture of eligible light duty vehicles and qualifying components under the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Loan Program or ATVM. So, what value can LPO bring as a lender to the uh, to my project? It says here, ATVM is one of the three distinct loan programs administered by LPO, but can provide a similar value to uh, borrowers. So, if we scroll down here, this is, this will be the criteria for them to be able to file the pro. Uh, I mean, uh, to uh, file their application again. So, guys. Uh, Mullen Automotive did this before and we don't know for sure if they were rejected but these are the criteria guys take note a project must meet all of the following requirements to be eligible to for an ATVM loan manufacture eligible vehicles or components that are used in eligible vehicles advanced technology vehicles are defined as light duty vehicles that meet or exceed a 25% improvement in fuel efficiency beyond 2005 a model year baseline of comparable vehicles build new facilities re-equip modernize or expand existing facilities so as you can see guys in their past press release right so if you go to the newsroom uh, it says here Mullen uh, automotive uh, solid state poly polymer battery cell testing with the leading independent facility so Mullen automotive to begin construction for EV battery pack so those were their press releases in the past be located in the US Foreign ownership or sponsorship of the project is permissible as long as the project is located in one of the 50 states. Provide a reasonable prospect of repayment. In addition, an applicant must demonstrate that it has sufficient funds to carry out the project and is not dependent on other federal support as described in the applicable federal regulation. So if we go back to uh, their press releases, guys, uh, it says here, okay, give me a sec. Okay, so we have seen this before uh, about the, uh, them uh, paying their uh, 
says here, Mullen strengthens a balance sheet. So, company expects to report in excess of $65 million in cash and cash equivalents when it files Form 10-Q for the second quarter ending in March 31. So, moreover, guys, they also, uh, had, uh, they also had a share offering currently in place. So guys, if we go to their SEC filing this dated April 18 of 2022, we can clearly see guys that uh, they have a uh, <clears throat> um, prospectus for 253,109,032 shares of a share offering, which is which was uh, effective immediately on uh, April 15 of 2022. It says here effective notice of effectiveness. That's April 15 of 2022. So that's their. Uh, current share offering in place so like i said uh, these shares will not be dumped into the shareholders right away they will be dumped in a fraction so uh, slowly the until this is done but as you can see guys the uh, atvm loan program has requirements meaning um they uh, also applicants must also meet the all applicable elig eligibility requirements set forth in the energy independence and security act of 2007 okay so each of these filings guys if uh, you guys uh, would like to take a look uh, it's actually pointing out so they're very very interested in the atvm loan program uh, application and they want to make sure that uh Mullen will be accepted into that. So Mullen Automotive files U.S. Department of Energy ATVM loan application. So that's one of them. Mullen strengthens balance sheet. Mullen Automotive to begin construction for EV battery pack. Okay, so everything is pointing to the ATVM loan application, guys. So even in the past, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of companies that tried to uh, secure this uh, loan. Okay, so it says here, so this uh, DD from uh, Reddit, it says here that there, uh, since the start of the program, only five companies have recipients of the loan. That will be Ford, Nissan, Tesla, Fisker, and Vehicle Production Group. Fisker and v uh, BPG defaulted on their loans, whereas Tesla and Nissan have paid off their loan balance while Ford is still paying off the loan. The last loan authorized from the ATVM program was in 2011. So guys, basically speaking, this is a very difficult process. You need to make sure that you have all these requirements, the criteria for you to be able to get accepted and be evaluated before Mullen will be uh, will be able to get this specific loan. So of course, this is a huge, huge head start for Mullen Automotive, especially that uh, they are an emerging vehicle company. If uh, the government itself is very confident in giving them their loan, then definitely, guys, this is not a bogus company like the Hindenburg Report says. So if before, uh, Mullen Automotive has difficulties uh, uh, putting uh, some money in their balance sheet now that if the story is different, they'll be more confident now in this application. And uh, we will actually hear more from uh, the application in the future, whatever happened to this application. But please take note, guys, that uh, in... Uh, this deep dive it says here over 100 applicants on the loan were denied among these applicants who did not receive the loan application was coda automotive which waited for the loan for nearly two years before withdrawing their application and later going bankrupt the year after so they this will be a tedious process guys uh once uh, but i think it will pay off well once the process is done so guys, uh, in this uh, specific time frame, in our daily, daily time frame with the technical analysis, we can clearly see that we have a strong, very, very strong support at $1.29. So we've been uh, trading sideways in the past seven days in this area. Hopefully, we can get more volume coming up in the stock. So if we break that down in a four-hour time frame, guys, we have one green candle coming up. Like I said, uh, I think the Mullen stock is currently manipulated or but uh, like I said, uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to bring in more volume in the stock. Okay, so as you can see, guys, the uh, volume for the stock is 41.53 million. The average volume for this specific stock is 134.97 million, meaning there's not a lot of... Uh, uh, you know people actually trying to buy and sell the stock if you uh, go to your order flow we can probably see here that uh, there's a lot of uh, people but are selling rather than buying okay so you can clearly see the uh, inflow and the outflow here okay so the inflow there's not a lot of confidence with the stock okay and, and the outflow is a 10.22 now if you go back to the charts in your 15 minute time frame guys our uh, VWAP it came across right above your 9 EMA like I said hopefully your VWAP will be able to reclaim all these technical indicators in the future now uh, going back to your daily time frame we can clearly see that your RSI is trying to flirt 
with your oversold section okay so guys once again Mullen Automotive is not going anywhere um, Mullen Automotive is uh, you know one of those stocks that will survive and thrive in this current market conditions guys if you like the information and analysis i have provided to you in this video please hit the like and subscribe button once again this is your boy don leo trades i love you all peace out